On Capitol Hill, the House could vote as soon as this weekend on foreign aid bills to help Ukraine, Israel and allies across the Pacific Rim. As Natalie Brand explains, the National Security Assistance has been stuck in Congress for weeks, but comes at a critical time for U.S. allies. To order. A long-awaited aid package to provide U.S. allies with critically needed funds has its first big test today before the House Rules Committee. I have been saying for months we need to support our friends and allies around the world now. This bill is probably one of the most important votes we'll have in our careers. The House plan includes three separate bills with more than $60 billion in security assistance for Ukraine and $26 billion for Israel. Another $8 billion is pegged for the Indo-Pacific with the goal of countering China. Speaking with foreign ministers at the G7 meeting, Secretary of State Antony Blinken and his Ukrainian counterpart laid out what's at stake. If Putin is allowed to proceed with impunity, we know he won't stop at Ukraine. House Speaker Mike Johnson, aiming for a final vote this weekend, must try to win over conservatives. I'm doing here what I believe to be the right thing. Um, I think pr providing lethal aid to Ukraine right now is critically important. Speaker Johnson hopes by putting separate bills on the floor, it increases the chances of passage. If he loses members of his own party, he's going to need Democratic support. We are not going to allow America's national security interests to be undermined. President Biden has indicated support for the package. It could come at a cost for Speaker Johnson, with Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene threatening to trigger a vote to oust him as Speaker. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.